Well, tonight is the peak of the Lyrid meteor shower. News 2 meteorologist Alex Libby spoke with a local astronomer to learn more. Alex. Yeah, Bob, I'm keeping a close eye on the forecast for cloud cover, but I did talk to a, a local astronomer who gave me all these tips of how to see the best way to see the Lyrid meteor shower. So the best viewing is between 2 and 3 a.m. So you either have to wake up really early or stay up really, really late tonight to get the best viewing of them. And there'll be about 20 meteors per hour, 20 shooting stars per hour, which is not as active as the Geminid, which is in December. That's about 100 meteors per hour, but it's pretty good. You know, just have to wait outside a couple minutes to see one. And you don't want to use binoculars or telescopes because when I was talking to the ast astronomer, he said you want to be able to see as much of the sky as possible. And speaking of the astronomer I talked to, his name is Dr. Billy Teets, and he says the best way to see them tonight is just look straight up after midnight. You're going to look for a, a really bright star. It's going to be almost overhead by about 2 to 3 in the morning. Uh, it's called Vega. It's like the fifth brightest star in the night sky, and that's where the meteors are going to appear. Uh, that area is going to be around where the meteors are going to appear to come from, which is why they're called uh, the Lyrids, because uh, they come out of the constellation Lyra. And uh, none of this information really matters if it's cloudy, then you won't be able to see it at all. Well, here is the cloud cover forecast for 1130 tonight, midnight. You can see a lot of cloud cover to the south and east of Nashville. So not great news for you. Nashville, partly cloudy skies. If you're in Clarksville or Hopkinsville, you'll probably have mostly clear skies. So good for you in that part of Middle Tennessee and Southern Kentucky. Now, I did talk to Dr. Teets and he did say there won't be as many, but it will be active tomorrow night. And as you can see, a lot more breaks in the clouds for late Tuesday into the early hours of Wednesday morning. So that might be a better time to see it tomorrow night.